Today, we're in Sault Ste. Marie, and well, it's the fall. It's my favorite season. So what we did is we put together a bucket list of all of our favorite things to do during the season. Some of them are super easy, like grab a coffee and watch a freighter. And then some of them are a little bit more ambitious. So what I'm hoping for is that we're going to be able to check everything off the bucket list that we created. So we're starting with a paddle at Rotary Park. Let's go. Oh, that's so sweet. That's that moody fall vibe that I'm talking about. Let's get down to the tree. Moody fall freighter shot. Got it. getting started pretty early knocking stuff off the bucket list. Do you want to go over here or do you want to go around this way? Uh, let's go around that way. This way? Yeah. We're right here at the paddler dock. To watch this other freighter come, I think we need to go this way. Yeah. Coffee with freighters is on the list. And what I mean by that is just find a nice spot where you can watch the freighters go by with your morning cup of coffee. In our case, we're doing it on the island, but you could do it at the locks, you could do it at Rotary Park. There's lots of spots that you could do this one. Hike Voyage and Island. Check. Whoa, look at this. That orange, classic shape. I'm gonna go show Canada. Hey Canadian friends, I found the perfect leaf for you. I'm hoping to get the fall pumpkin-y coffee thing at it. Uh, Oh, crepe. I'm gonna do the maple pumpkin coffee. Yeah, can I do mine in a latte? Oh, she was right. I'm gonna be, I'm hard jealous. I want Should be. That. It's so good. We didn't really mean to, but we're gonna have followed the same loud all the way from Rotary to the locks now. This is our first time on the Round Island Nature Preserve Trail. And we put hike on the bucket list. You don't have to do this one, but I like this trail because it's not just like a, a crushed gravel trail, which does have its purposes, but this is more of a trail with like a little bit of terrain and you kind of are discovering the next corner. It's a really cool feature on trails that are a little more rustic like this. Oh, look at that. Telling us right where we are. That's a pretty good looking one. New trail days are always a fun day for me, but now we're heading back into town and then we're gonna wait for it to get dark out and we're gonna try to do some night sky photography. So hopefully that'll be all right. One of the things that we put on the bucket list that ends up being an advantage of it starting to get dark earlier is that you can do some better night sky photography and not have to stay up till like one in the morning. We're kind of new at night sky photography, but the stars are out, so we're gonna see what we can get. I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. Now we're going to bed and we'll continue this tomorrow morning. All right, so day two. We're heading out along the shore of Lake Superior and we have spots planned along the way to do more fall photography and that's what's on the list today. I'm shooting on the Canon camera. Andy is going to be shooting on his iPhone, but I think no matter what kind of camera you have, it's pretty easy to get some awesome photography with the spots that we have picked out. Take me out, I wanna see 
who's ever taken the time to add the extra landscaping and the pumpkins on the outside of the Point Iroquois Lighthouse. Nice work. I appreciate it. When I'm out shooting at places like this, the obvious thing is to take photos like out on the landscape of Lake Superior, but then there's always such cool details in right here that you could take photos of too. And I think that it really rounds out the kind of photography that you'll be doing when you're out doing fall color. mission point we come up here every fall to see the fall colors and we put it on the bucket list and it is the end of our bucket list because this is the shot where you can see all the way over to Sault Ste. Marie all the way out into Lake Superior you got Spectacle Lake you got Monica Lake and right now the fall colors are popping but there's still time I think that we're gonna be primed throughout the next month probably you're gonna have really good fall colors and be able to get some awesome shots so I'm going to leave you with that and I'm gonna say until next time cheers <laughs>